this is our fourth annual science fair and we had about 140 participants and this year we decided to split the categories into um, engineering, investigations and experiments. Investigations, experiments and engineering. Not usually words that get young kids excited. But meet the bright minds from Brown's Chapel Elementary School. My project is about which toothpaste is the best. We have four the best of the best from our recent science fair competition. And third grade teacher Amanda Rollins says the kids are eager to participate. It's not at all hard to get them interested. We had um, a kickoff at one of our Monday morning meetings that our school does and the whole school comes together. We did a little um, introduction to each of the three categories and the kids just run with it from there. Third through fifth grade participated in the um, actual projects that you see here today. And these are our three first place winners behind me, for one from each category. And when these kids brought their projects to City Hall, they shared with us their scientific knowledge of their projects. So watch and learn. It's a transfer of power built from a fan and it starts out as electric energy and it goes to the battery to make chemical to go to the motor and spins the rubber band to make kinetic energy to spin this fan to make a, a transfer of power and the, if you turn the switch on it starts to spin and the thicker rubber band it makes the fan go slower because it takes more energy and the thinner rubber band it takes less energy to spin the fan because it's thinner. This is um, a fan made of household items and I started off with a wood base like to um, put the foam base on and then I built the fan and this is what it looks like and the reason this pencil here right here it is standing in the middle and it's not going side to side because of the opposing forces are holding it together and it says on the website that I found it on it said that it was going to spin forever once you like put it on the thing that's not true a force has to act upon the fan unless it before it like keeps spinning and spinning and it will spin forever if the force is acting upon it. My project was short-term memory based on gender and grade level. The boys had the best, the best um, short-term memory. Fifth grade boys were the overall best. Everybody did better in auditory memory than visual. My project was which popcorn pops the best. The best popping popcorn was Cousin Willie's. The reason Cousin Willie's was the best popping. The best popcorn that popped was because it pop it started popping as soon as we got it in there. And it also had the least average for unpopped kernels of all four popcorns. We I wanted to know does it weigh more or less after the gum has been chewed? And I found out that it weighs less because I looked it up and it says that the part that stays in is the synthetic rubber and like that's the part that makes it chewy and then like the reason why it weighs less is because you get the sugars out of it and if it doesn't have sugars um, then it has the artificial sweetener. Who got to chew all this gum? I, I chewed all of the gum. My name is Sydney Lynch. I did do dogs have a dominant paw and yes they do. Bella used her left paw and it's very Girl dogs usually use their right paw, and boys use their le left, and Bella used her le right, left. And then Tank is ambidextrous, he used a little bit of both, and then Chief used his left, and then Duchess used her right, and they all used their nose on the treat test. I thought an egg was not that strong, but I needed to revise my thinking because I was wrong. You can see when we stood on the eggs, they did not break. When participant one stood on the eggs, my brother, they did not break just because he's pretty light. But when participant two stood on the eggs, they still did not break, but she's a little bit heavier. When participant three stood on the eggs, they broke because 2.71 pounds per square inch and 10.42 pounds per egg. And my project was how do gears work? Um, my hypothesis was the hypothesis. The, is the size of the gear will determine how many times the gear will turn by the, by the gear beside it. 
I made this um, model. Um, and uh, gears are used in a lot of machines today, which um, includes bicycles and um, other really big machines. My project is about which toothpaste is the best. We have four toothpastes and four tiles. We have four we have four toothbrushes and we and we have one cup of twelve black, plain black coffee. We put the four tiles in the twelve cup of black coffee for forty hours or two days. On the first day we had our four toothbrushes and our four toothpaste. We we brushed them 100 times, we repeated two more times. On the third day, we found out which one was the best. So it was Colgate. And second place, it was Aquafresh. Third was Crust. And fourth was Baking Soda. And dentists say that Colgate can get, can get stains off your teeth. Um, we used a, a ball kicker to measure how far it would go because if I kicked it with my foot, it would either go farther, I mean I would either kick it harder or softer. So we built this um, machine to do how um, far it would go. And we put it up the same height every time we did it. 9 PSI, 6 PSI, 3 PSI, and 0 PSI is what we did. And then PSI stands for air pressure. And I think, I thought 9 PSI would be the most you should put in a soccer ball. But it wasn't, it was 6 PSI. And I think 9 PSI is going, I can agree with 6 PSI being the highest because 9 PSI is carrying a lot more air pressure in it. Like if you're carrying a lot of clothes, 9 PSI is carrying a lot of air pressure in it, so it will get slower. I did this, the design of a truss bridge changed the amount of weight it could hold, and I built a worn truss bridge and a how truss bridge. And the way I, that I made them was um, the worn truss bridge had triangles, so I made triangles out of balsa wood and glued them together with balsa wood glue. And then I put binder clips to hold them together while they were drying. The future looks bright for these young minds from Brown's Chapel Elementary.